Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and decided to do a Peanuts special review, which is the 14th primetime anime special that came out on October 28, 1975, called You're a Good Sport, Charlie Brown, which is a special about Charlie Brown entering the motocross event, along with Snoopy as the mass marble, and of course Pepper and Patty. So they figured this would be a perfect time for Charlie Brown to finally, uh, become a good sport as we speak yeah I have this special four times now hard to believe because I have free DVD releases the first one being the the one that came in a glossy green slip cover I do have it by the way but it's in the box along with all the other stuff too because you know I'm, I'm already getting ready for the move so I wish I could show you that, but maybe sometime down the road I might be able to show you what the DVD looks like. So uh, The DVD release that I got came in that slip cover that has uh, Charlie Brown, who has uh, a beat up, very slow, ridden uh, motorcycle. Yeah, he always gets the bad one. Where he has a pumpkin head helmet. Yeah, because he just lost his helmet and Linus Bimpelt had to create it for him. Uh, Snoopy as the mass marble with the green helmet. Has a nice bike. And of course, Pepper and Patty read the yellow and red uh, Thunderstripe uh, helmet. So she was entering the race just before Charlie Brown and Snoopy did. <laughs> so, yeah, they're entering the, the motocross uh, events in order for them to win a prize. Well, this was considered to be um, the last special for Vince Guaraldi because he was already trying to complete all the theme cues that he had for the special because he was still living well you know, before he announced uh, that he was suffering from a heart attack. And that would have been later on because he had to record all the, the cues for the following special, which I just reviewed already, it's Arbor Day Charlie Brown. Yeah, considered to be one of the weakest peanut specials that I've ever seen. But they had to celebrate Arbor Day, so what can you do? Because they, they've been known for celebrating a lot of holidays that they got. Even though I kind of wish they had some, maybe a couple more to fill in the bank, but they never did. I mean, there wasn't even a St. Patrick's Day holiday. Despite the fact that there was a shirt, which I had. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> well, what can you do? But this was also considered to be um, the third Emmy Award winning uh, special for Schultz. Because it's also included on the Emmy Award collection, which I have. I also have this on the 70s collection as well. But it was a great special. I always enjoyed it, mostly to see Charlie Brown uh, riding on a motorcycle just to enter the race. It's always interesting to see a special like this, because usually when it comes to sports, it's always baseball and, and, um, and football too. Which I know they later had the, the football special, which it's, it's your first kiss, Charlie Brown. But this one actually has the tennis scene and we're going to explain that later and at the end of the special there was you know a baseball scene but there you go definitely has a wonderful score by Vince Corrality as usual and I always remember the the very uh, soft uh, theme that they chose for the special just works so well with that jazzy beat in the mix so let's get to the special. Stars Duncan Watson as Charlie Brown, Liam Martin as Linus Ben Pelt, Gail M. Davis as Sally Brown, Melanie Kong as Lucy Ben Pelt, along with Loretta, Stuart Bogman as Pepper and Patty, Jimmy Orens as Marcy, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Phil Woolman. The special begins where we meet Snoopy, you know, getting ready to play tennis with Woodstock. He decided to take a practice shot by putting all of the tennis balls inside the tennis ball machine. 
you grab the remote, you press it, and then a tennis ball arrives and hits it with the tennis ball racket. Till all of a sudden it started going completely out of control and it got knocked unconscious. <laughs> yeah, that was really messed up. Anyway, in the next scene, we meet Linus and Sally, who's about to enter the tennis courts just so they could play tennis alone. Which apparently all the tennis courts have been occupied by the big kids. So they took over. Which Linus had said that that's the only thing about tennis. You can't play alone. So Linus has been ranting and shouting about that. And then Sally suddenly t dropped in and just yelled at the big kids saying, You kids better get off that court right now! Or my boyfriend will clobber you! With Linus feeling very nervous that he just ran away because he's afraid that those kids are going to attack him. But Sally just sat on the corner saying the same line that Linus had said. Then Woodstock arrived with Snoopy, you know, getting ready to play against him. And boy, I mean, things were going so well for Snoopy until all of a sudden, having to create all these mistakes that he made while playing with Woodstock, because he was so good that... Um, he was developing frustration that he had to destroy the tennis ball racket that he has and just threw it all the way up to the sky and and then he he had the foot faults that he made and all of this it just he just completely lost yeah you definitely feel sorry for Snoopy for that so Woodstock won and greeted to Snoopy for the victory until suddenly Pepper and Patty had arrived on a small motorcycle and began to announce that uh, the kids are about to enter an upcoming motocross race and suggested Charlie Brown and Snoopy to enter with Linus volunteered to be his pit crew. So they joined in by going inside a bike shop so that way they could purchase uh, a motorcycle bike but it turns out to be very old and shabby yeah, it runs very slow and it's not working very well but of course you know Charlie Brown had to get the bad one but it's the only one that Linus could afford so they didn't have any choice so once they entered we get Marcy as the announcer you know, doing some interviews with all the riders out there including uh, Charlie Brown Snoopy and Pepper and Patty. So there you go. And during the start of the race, all of a sudden, with all the riders around, Charlie Brown and Snoopy had crashed together. That an ambulance had arrived on the scene for immediate medical care. But in confusion, the ambulance had uh, switched um, hospitals so Charlie Brown wants up in the beds inside the cage uh, filled with dogs while uh, Snoopy as the masked marble wants up in the hospital while he was about to have a meal. <laughs> so um, Charlie Brown had left the bed and went into the hospital to just to grab Snoopy so they can go back into the race. And Charlie Brown already lost his helmet. Um, Linus decided to create a puck and hit helmet for Charlie Brown. Um, yeah, because it's the rules that he needs to wear for protection. So once they get back to the race, everything was going co completely well until Pepper and Patty got stuck in the mud. Um, later, another uh, rider had got stuck in there too. So Charlie Brown and Snoopy had continued to go on, but of course Snoopy, as the masked marble, was like <laughs> racing against Charlie Brown. But then he begins to find out that his motorcycle has just run out of juice, so he decided to to take the the tennis ball machine and created it as simply a backup for the race, and it continues to go on really fast 
and winds up uh, using the tennis ball machine with the remote just uh, shooting up all the tennis balls at Charlie Brown while he was riding on the bike. Yeah, it's just, it's really messed up. I mean, they had to go all the way uphill, downhill, each and every one of those corners right there. Yeah. And of course, the Mass Marble completely lost. I mean, he got stuck in the the mud pit the same way that Pepper and Patty and, and another rider has been in. Well, Charlie Brown is just riding around very slow, and then all of a sudden he won, and and he just won a prize, which turns out to be a gift certificate for haircuts. Of course, originally the prize that he was going to get was the Pro Bowl tickets, yeah, which is um, a football game, but unfortunately that they couldn't get it because they didn't have the money to do so. So this was the only way to go. Because even though his father is indeed a barber, but he didn't have much hair to cut. And by the way, the gift certificate was given by Loretta, yeah, with that fuzzy hair that she had, that fuzzy afro. Ugh. <laughs> with freckles, too. <laughs> Yeah, so he was giving five free haircuts for the gift certificate, and he just felt pretty... He just thought that this whole gift was just completely useless. So that's why he felt, you know, pretty bad about that. But the best part of them all was that when Lions confronts Charlie Brown about the race, that no matter what, he won anyway. So he's he came in first, so that's the only thing that's more important than just some prize that he receives. So because of the confidence that Charlie Brown was given, he decided to pitch another baseball game by throwing in the first pitch until, yep, all of his clothes have fell out. And there you go. And that's a special. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, it, it's a very fun special. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I watched the special a couple times. Never gets old. I mean, I always love the moments when, when Snoopy as the Masked Marble is just, you know, <laughs> you know, already competing against uh, Charlie Brown and Pepper and Patty, just because uh, <laughs> he always gets the good ones. Yeah, he's and he actually has Woodstock as the pit crew too. Um, having the ride uphill, downhill throughout the entire race, and. The, there was a scene where when he was trying to fix the bike, but since the bike couldn't. Um, work very well, that he was trying to get all the pieces out of there in the bike before he had to replace it to the tennis ball machine. Yeah, part of that pedal that they use uh, to move the bike suddenly uh, moves around like a snake. And <laughs> and Snoopy just had a fight with it and just, com and just started wrestling against it and, and there you go. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, there there are moments here where, you know, Charlie Brown, you know, is trying to go all the way uphill. But seeing how slow this bike is, he just runs around all the way up and going all the way down. And even moves all the way straight to the mud pit. So, of course, because you know, the bike is so slow that it just didn't get him completely stuck. I don't know how on earth did this bike uh, suddenly goes even when he goes uh, all the way straight to the mud pit while... You know, Pepper and Patty, the writer, and, and of course even Mass Marble suddenly gets stuck in there. Also, when the, the Mass Marble had to stop uh, just to take a break because he just passed Charlie Brown, that he decided to have a picnic. And he was having a sandwich until suddenly Charlie Brown had arrived. And because <laughs> he's already uh, against him. So he had to continue to go on just passing the Charlie Brown you know, before he went straight to the, the mud pit. But that's how the special went. Um, it was fun. You know, Pepper Patty was very good, I mean, in spite of that. And, um, of course, you have Marcy as the announcer, you know, just going around interviewing them. She's always keep cutting them off. 
But just when Charlie Brown was just about to say something, all, all he keeps saying is, uh, and there you go. Because <laughs> she keeps interrupting the, their speech. And same goes with Pepper Patty, so there we go. Uh, also, they had the, the kid announcer for the, the tennis court, uh, you know, for Snoopy and Woodstock, because, you know, when he was playing the game. Yeah, because he was very good at it until <laughs> everything was going so well for Snoopy, but until all the mistakes that he did, and, and he was so frustrated because Woodstock is definitely so good at it. It's hard to believe that for such a tiny yellow bird like Woodstock, you know, holding a small tennis ball racket, it, I mean, who would have thought he'd be this good? I mean, Snoopy was, was more good than he was, and, and it's hard to believe. But I, I guess you had to use your imagination to figure that out. <laughs> but it, it was fun. But definitely check this out. I mean, if you love all the other peanut specials and out there, I mean, this is the best one. But, no matter what, the importance is, is that no matter how Charlie Brown does it, it would always be a good sport. So there you go. So that's your good sport, Charlie Brown, and I give that special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.